Good evening. Uh, Wilbur Cook, a hand up recovery home executive director. We're back. And you can email us at Chris's email, C L K I M B R O U G H 55 at gmail.com. I can't handle all the inquiries we get lately. But today I have one of my newest best friends in business in the Austin community. She has been one of the highlights of my year last year in 2003 and a great highlight starting this 2004. And I've lost over 20 pounds using her kitchen's keto diet menu. Yes. She is the owner of Split in Half Kitchen out in Austin, and her name is none other than the great chef, Evelyn Phillips. And she'll let you know a little bit about her kitchen and how she came up with the wonderful idea to feed us healthy in Austin and the west side of Chicago. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Wilbur. You what an introduction. Yes. I can't top that. Well, like you said, my name is Evelyn, Oops. and I am a new business owner. I am in the Austin community. Split in Half Kitchen is our name, and um, you might wonder why Split in Half. Well, Split in <laughs> Half basically yes. means we sell soul food, but my focus is healthy food. Being a nurse for 30 years, I decided to take my passion to the storefront and help heal nations through my delicious cooking. And as Mr. Wilbur mentioned, yes. I am also Coach Evelyn, his coach. I stay on his toes, keep him in line. Well, <laughs> kicking me, but anyway, in the right direction. I gotta keep him on his toes, like I said. Um, I find a lot of uh, times uh, patients, they go to the doctor, they get put on medications, they get spoken to in big words that they don't understand. And sometimes they don't know how to speak up for themselves. And they fight these morbidities or not. And when I say or not, um, for instance, I get customers that come in all the time to the for, uh, storefront and I'm led to speak to them through the words that they speak to me. And whenever given an opportunity, my nursing hack, <laughs> it's on my head. It definitely so, does. Yes. Um, pops up, pops out. <laughs> pops up, pops out, like he said. And I always keep my nursing bag with me, blood pressure kit, in case I need to take your blood pressure. You tell me you've been taking your medicine and you've been eating your food. Okay, let's check. So um, I find a lot of times my customers, they come in and they are taking medications that they don't know the name of it. They don't know how many pills they're supposed to take a day, when they're supposed to take it. So I'll ask them a few questions. What does it start with? Blah, blah, blah. Do you have my chart? Do you know how to get in my chart? And that leads me to educating them because healing starts through your mouth. Diseases mm -hmm. start through your mouth. Nutrition is everything. And as Mr. Weber said, he's lost 20 pounds. We do a lot of uh, challenges. We do um, meal prepping. I'm actually actually cook for Mr. Weber all the time. Yeah, and um, the food is delicious. You won't even know you're eating healthy food. Uh, low carbs, no carbs, anything that we cook on the soul food side, I have managed to also bring it to the healthy side so that you can still enjoy what you eat and continue to live life so right yes yeah, so she has a wonderful combination of foods you can have turkey you can have jerk turkey you can have chicken you can have grilled chicken you can have baked chicken what about you can that have jerk uh, chicken you can have grilled shrimp baked shrimp jerk shrimp you can have a combination of different meats to help keep your protein up and keep you coming back for another meal. Also, she has a new menu of, what is it, mac and cauliflower. That is one of the best things I've tasted on this side of heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, the first bland I got, I wasn't too particular Boy, about. Now, by the time I told her, I, I don't want that again, she said, I have a new recipe right yes. on the coming out the oven right now. Give me a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. I tasted that. A young 25-year-old that was at the restaurant tasted that. 
Uh, she did an event for my niece coming out of nursing school, and yes. she helped uh, pr put the presentation and the healthy food on the table for us. Uh, I had aunts who cooked great pinto beans from Mississippi and folk that's been eating spaghetti from Mississippi. Takes, taste that mash cauliflower Coffee. blend, and they was like, whoo! Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I had to say, uh, glad she brought me an extra couple <laughs> of containers because I couldn't get the other one back. It was going around my southern family's <laughs> table. But uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. Food that tastes good and is healthy. She provides half some of the absolute best salads on this oh, yeah. side of uh, Cook County, if not the whole Chicago Cook County That's area. Right. That's right. You said uh, it right. <laughs> so she is really has a formula for keeping you healthy. And my doctor looked at me like, 14 pounds this in the last month, six, six weeks? Mm -hmm. You haven't done this in the two years I've been working with you? Mm -hmm. And I was like... I got a good meal prep coach, mm -hmm. and she also coaches me on exercise and videos that I could do things in my yes. chair. I could do things at home. Uh, I do not have to leave home, but she also encouraged that I do get out and go to the nearest health club yes. that I have membership in. So she's that type of person trying to keep the whole community healthy. But more importantly, she had a job training program this summer for our young people, and she was helping me prepare a different, stay healthy and keep doing some gun violence reduction, which is the main focus of this program. So uh, how did you feel about your summer program and how you probably helped keep some youth from becoming victims or victimizing others because you kept them working and learning mm -hmm. a skill that they can carry into the job market? And some of the things you plan to do moving forward as far yes. as providing job training and expanding that kitchen in the West Side area, if not across the city, mm -hmm. uh, so that you can help more young people and adults get skills they need mm -hmm. and develop better work relationships. Well, at Split and Half, we welcome people in with love. We understand giving people a second chance. And we work with the recovery uh, programs. We work with the reentry programs, allowing people that may have did something when they was 12, 13, whatever, and most jobs look at them like, no, mm-mm. Uh, we don't turn our nose up at no one because we have been blessed to be in the position that we are in, everything that we're doing. Um, we've been blessed to do it. So we partner with any... Um, communities that's willing to partner with us. And right now, we partner with the IYPI program, and we bring in youths in the age ranges of 14 to 24, and they come in. Some of them don't know how to cook. Part of our mission is to teach young ladies right. that have children. Whoa, I am okay. a young... Right. Um, I was a young parent at the age of 15. I have seven children. And really? fortunately, yes, I got seven wow. beautiful children. And they mm -hmm. look just as young as she does. They do. They do. <laughs> I think some of them still teenagers. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I got a 17 and 18-year-old. My baby is 17, and my oldest is 36. And I have seven grandchildren. Eight. I got a new one. Oh, wow. But, okay, um, that's great. The youth that we serve, um, we teach them how to cook. You know, if they're young parents, you no, know, you're not going to feed this child oodles and noodles, um, flaming hot or whatever, you know, MSG, mm, right, monosodium man. glutamate, all the stuff that causes them to have hyperactivity disorders. So we get them in and we teach them. And at the same time, we're looking for that next candidate for split in half kitchen. So... They are only going to be as great as we nurture them to be. Um, we had a program this summer, and we had three individuals. And out of the three, one is still with us, and she will be taking her management course, and she will oh, be right. a manager. And she's a That's young wonderful. lady. Also, uh, we've just been blessed with three more individuals. Um, okay. I don't want to tell my youth's business, but... Um, one of the young men that we have, he's an awesome teen that has been through, um, I would say he's been drugged through the mud. He's um, 
been um, in different situations growing up and just hearing his story, it just... It it tugs at your heart. it lets me know yeah. that we're doing the right thing. Oh, and he so. mentioned to me last night. He said, "I think God sent me here because I feel like I'm at home. I feel love. You know, my partner is my husband, Mr. Jerome. All right, and, um, Coach Jay. Yes, Coach Jay. He got on your toes too, didn't he? <laughs> right, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he stay on me, and if I don't seem to be responding properly, well, you then wasn't, when you were, they you double team. When you was pretending right, like you they was like, doing it, no, nope, you can't pay for this yet. We got to make sure we're going to permit you to cheat. Yeah. Or are we going to find a substitute? And usually, I have to find mm -hmm. a veggie substitute for some of them starches. That's or right. Carbs. Yes. And you, you keep me on right. my toes, too. You keep me on my toes because right. you keep me in a laboratory making new dishes. Right. I know when you're not satisfied. Anytime you say you send me back that list, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I was like, okay, I got to go do something different right. with yeah. this. So, yeah. But our youth, work. they're doing great. They are doing That's great. Um, We look forward to continue to work with you, Mr. Uh, Cooks, with the gun violence and, you know, just taking it to the streets. Just taking it to the streets. Right. We, we're we in pool pits. We're behind our fancy whatevers. But, you know, the love is when you take it to the streets or you allow the streets to come into the business and, you know, let them see that, you know, you can earn money. You can earn a living by serving, you know, serving the community in a different way. Right. Yeah, you can serve a ditch that's healthy, not a ditch that's killing people. That's One, right. You serve dishes that keep people al alive. That's right. You, know, you can give them a bag of the good stuff, mm -hmm. good wholesome food, mm -hmm. good wholesome beverages. That How you been keep doing anyway clean. with your your your? I'm doing fairly well, but you know, uh, I had to go see my guy Quentin Love. Yeah. Soul Food Lounge mm -hmm. with the family and some of the uh, workers last week. So, uh, you know, Was I, I split I split my diet between Soul Food Lounge. Grand tasting and Ms. Coach Evie's mm -hmm. meal prep five to seven days, depending on how many times I'm going out to the lounge. No, between those meals, I get great portion control, mm -hmm. and they've taught me that. And I also get very delicious food. Delicious. And a good percentage of it is seafood or the healthiest, you know, uh, meats turkey chicken that are best for me and a little bit of red meat a little bit just a little bit just a little bit lamb mostly for me mm -hmm. for coach evie mm -hmm. and then uh over there at uh i think i do almost all fish and chicken at the I soul got some, food lounge. i got some for you though so these mm -hmm. these places you can have great food learn how to take care of yourself better yes. Have opportunities to meet wonderful people that you, if you need employment, can teach you teach. how to be in the food service industry mm -hmm. at the highest level. And they're in our community, Austin and North Lawndale. Yes. Some of the, and they're managed, owned by African American mm -hmm. men and women. And then they have a diverse staff. Yes. You know, uh, and so these are. Uh, it's a highlight to ask her when we were talking about the food menu for my birthday, my 50th mm -hmm. birthday. We anticipate I'm going to be alive and super healthy and yes. down about 25, 30 more pounds. But we want to keep me rolling in the right direction. Right. So I'm already getting my meals set up through her. And it was like, oh, come on to the show. This lady is currently working on plans to expand the training for ex-offenders training yes. to help prevent those who are in the street thinking that they have to sell deadly you know products to the commute to each other to the community that they can come and make a wholesome living and even if they really get their taste buds yes peaked, yes. they can learn to be a chef and mm -hmm. even eventually open their kitchen or as she say a young lady there's is be becoming a, a manager there's going to be a number two uh, we hoping at least three across Chicago. Uh, we're talking about creating some affordable housing together and yes. anchoring it with their kitchen so that people living in an affordable unit can have great, wholesome food. 
a home cooked meal out of a restaurant yes. in the building they live in. And please, uh, viewing audience, don't steal my idea. But anyway, we they want her to prosper no it. matter what in helping it. our community live healthy, eat healthy, and develop healthy work habits and businesses. So she loves being a mentor in every area. Yes. And, you know, tell them a few more things you want to do as far as, you know, helping the uh, ex-offenders and others and some of the plans you have for how you plan to teach them how to prepare meals mm -hmm. as well as learn the good customer service skills. Okay. So as far as our ex-offenders go, um, they come to us through a program and... Um, the reentry program, Westside Health Authority, they sit okay. them down and they talk to them or they're referred through the recovery program. They sit down and they talk to them. They get them prepared for the work field. And when they come over to us, we sit them down and we talk to them, you know. We don't judge. It's a no judging zone. Um, okay. You know, a lot of our guys, they got tattoos, earrings, this, that, any other. We don't judge. All we require is that when you come in, um, you're nice and you're clean and you're ready to cook. No hair all over the place, this, that, any other. And we teach them the um, basic foundations. We get them certified. Uh, some of them advance to supervisor. Some of them advance to management. We wh Wherever their passion is, they might just want to paint the walls. They mm -hmm. might just want to wash dishes. They might just want to fry chicken, or they might be interested in being on a grill. So we get them prepared. Now, another... Okay, that's um, great. You give them options. They have options because you got to let a person work where they're great at. You right. know, if they're not comfortable, <laughs> you know, we have some, some, some of our youths that, you know, you might come in and you don't feel comfortable with people. Okay, I like you to tell me what your challenges are because I'm going to challenge you in that area. But we also have to respect your boundaries and, you know, put you in places where you don't have to interact with so many people. Now, one of our newest things is not new. It's kind of what really got me into doing what I'm doing. We do meal preps, not only just for people that's trying to lose weight, we also do meal preps for cancer patients, the elderlies, some other patients, they get um, food delivered to their doorstep and they just go from their doorstep to the garbage because if you're an older person, Come on now. You used to cook in pinto beans, macaroni and cheese, dressing, uh, homemade gravy. We have three different homemade gravies, pork, wow. chicken, and beef, uh, right, meatloaf. Man. And you miss it, but you can't get in there because you had a stroke or you did yeah. so that. We prepare those meals. And if you are, are an elderly and all of your children are across town, this, that, and the other, and we also deliver it to them. So our mm. elderly get to eat and on the holidays, Thanksgivings. Right. We love giving back to the community. We are servants of the community. We prepare, uh, I think this is our, last year was our second year doing it in the Austin community. We cook about maybe two to 300 meals um, and we give it away for free. Well, that was you Thanksgiving just, or? Thanksgiving. Right. On Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's Day. Right. On Thanksgiving Day. We feed the community. Yes, we feed. And it's something we've been doing for a very long time. Yeah. Um, from my home, you know, me and my right. kids. You know, instead of inviting all the family over, let's cook and let's go pass it out. So now, since we have a brick and mortar, we don't have to go looking for people to pass the food out to. They come and they get it fresh and hot. And um, this year, we had some really good, really good sponsors that just donated turkeys and right, okay. chicken and all that good stuff, money, right. Right. you know. So it didn't all come out of my pocket. And then the volunteers just showed up from everywhere. And yes. we That's actually great. ran out of food this year. So, you know, we just started frying chicken and <laughs> we kept it going. Kept and we had to stick to our promise to 3 o'clock. Right. And, so. and there was no lack of need for the food because... This was just before many of those migrants, uh, Mexican and yeah. Venezuelans, that Venezuelans. were at the 15th district on Madison, yes. uh, were moved into shelters. She had fed them throughout the year. 
Yes. And probably have prepared hundreds, if not over a thousand mm-hmm. meals for the migrants. Mm-hmm. I had been there sometime when families came in, and she was like, uh, let's discuss how I'm going to feed you and those babies. That's right. And she would come out, sit with them at the table, and prepare a meal for that family. And lock as the well dough. as she would be taking uh, food down mm-hmm. there to the mm-hmm. migrant encampment at mm-hmm. the 15th District Police Station. And, you know, uh, so she has yes. done great. Uh, the address? 5815 West Madison Street, Chicago, mm-hmm. Illinois, 60155. No, 60644. We're right in between Ted's and Mario Brothers. The Ted Place for Relaxation and Mario, the grocery, grocery store. Grocery store. So, also, um, um, we also allow the youth to... You know, get their hands in giving back to the community, right, and they would and go and feed great. the babies. So, and see, that's wonderful that she's in our community doing great work while preparing healthy food. And if you just have to have a little bit of grease, she still will drop a little bit. Now, just one bit. thing too about her, uh, what she does fry her batter is a lot lighter than most batters, and you're never going to see a bunch of batter caked on, you know, giving you carbs and all that extra grease on your food. Uh, She has a special southern batter that is lighter than grandma's, but tastes like (laughs) grandma's. So she really has a unique style of preparing the best food for us and trying to keep us healthy, even if we eat a little bit of grease. Uh, But also, I think want to say that... uh, she has the gun violence colors as her color for the uh, outside of her yes. restaurant, orange. My and I ke- that's what draw me in. I kept going by, and I go by late in the evening because mm-hmm. I'm out a lot, and she be closed. Mm. But finally one day at lunch, I looked up and say, I pulled over, and she was open, and I've been running in there every, every week, since. every other <laughs> week since, and and buying meals and getting meals prepared. So to help keep our community healthy, uh, we got about a minute or so. You want to wrap up with some good things about how people can better take care of themselves or yes. or how a keto meal can be fun and tasty. Yes. So keto is basically, you know, it's a, a journey that most people take to lose weight. And lose, the weight loss is the benefit of eating healthy but the main thing i would like to say to the community directly if you are taking medications you don't understand those medications your high high blood pressure uh cardiovascular disease anything you taking pill pill bottles that to the point you just ain't gonna take none of them because you don't know why the doctor gave it to you blah 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 stop in talk to me and let me help you get back on the right track so that you can live life more abundantly. Right. And I will show you how to eat good. Now, once you tell me your business, you're not coming up in there getting no fried chicken. You're going to get some baked chicken. You're not getting no fried pork chops. You're going to get some grilled. We're going to do it together. I'm going to hold your <laughs> hand through the process. Right. If you trust me and I trust you. We're going to live life more abundantly together so we can heal our community. Right. Yeah, one meal at a time. That's it. One detox drink at a time. Oh, one energy talk about drink the detox at a time. Drinks. Yeah, she got some <laughs> drinks there with no sugar that no sugar. just charge you up. You would think it's loaded with sugar, but all it has is a bunch of herbs and vitamins. Yes. And, um, uh, ginger, tamarind. Don't be telling all lemon. my goodness. Oh, it's my fault. But anyway. Lower your A1C. All right. Help yeah. control your blood pressure. Help to clean out your digestive tract. <laughs> he right. about to give y'all all yeah. my goodness. Yeah, some eating, yeah. some eating you got to stay close to our house, yes. to home. Yes, we don't count anyway. calories on the weekend, so right. I'm not that strict. You can come in there and get your fried pork chops smothered in gravy and rice and your right. your, your Kool-Aid. We do got Kool-Aid. All but, right. Uh, Coach Jerome, thanks for holding it down back at the restaurant <laughs> and, and some of her little mini-me's, the young, her young daughters. Mia, Mia. This, all right, so yes. shout out. But also, we think she has a family-run business. They work together to help take care of each other and take yes. care of the community. And you don't get that a lot. Too often, they're running in and out the penitentiary and mm-hmm. generations. This generation 
is learning to do business, feed people, and stay healthy yes. and promote health. So it is great. So thank you for all you've done in the medical field, all you're doing in, as a restaurant mm -hmm. owner and trying to feed the community yes. and keep us all yes. healthy. And most of all, it's been great to be before our audience and bring one of the best kept secrets in the west side in the Austin area. And when you feel better, you act better. So what does it have to do with gun violence? When you're living right, feeling good, you are less likely to pull the trigger and That's take right. a life. You'd rather see one flourish. Goodbye. Take care.